Burr, 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 burr. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to a special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. Today, for all my overlanders, all my teardrop lovers, I have something brand new and exciting and General RV just became a dealer of these all new Modbug trailers. These are the coolest thing. They are affordable overlanding and just awesome units. So I'm here, I'm actually not in Indiana. I'm like two miles into Michigan at their headquarters. And with me, I have a few guests that's gonna join us today and show us these awesome unique features. So first and foremost, who are you? Hey guys, I am Chase and I'm with Modern Buggy. Excited to have you and take you through some of the units here today. I'm Aaron, so excited to show you what we have. And I'm Scott Rohde, Matt, um, also helping out Modern Buggy and Chase and I are actually with a little company called Field and & Sports. And we are helping uh, Earl Williams, who might step out later, uh, take his product to market and uh, get it ready. Nice. We're super excited. Whenever General RV um, comes out, signs up a new partner, I always want to get here first or as soon as first as I can to show you guys this awesome feature, awesome units. But unfortunately, you guys won't be at the Hershey RV show, but we will be selling them at all 14 stores or most stores? Most stores. Most stores, what about Pennsylvania? Yep. Yes. We will be selling them at the Pennsylvania store, which is only down the street from the Hershey RV show. So without further ado, Chase, you wanna show us the first one? Yeah, you guys, first I wanna take you through our flagship model. The first model that we introduced and what you're looking at right here, it might be different than a traditional RV or conventional trailer that you're used to seeing. This is our 10RK. And why is it our 10RK? Because the box length in here is gonna be 10 foot overall. Wow. Right, so it's gonna be small, it's gonna be lean. Um, so we started with something at this size and this weight. Why? Because we wanted to connect doers, outdoors people, active people, to a unit that they can take anywhere, that they can tow by a majority of vehicles on the road. So you're sitting here at just about 12 to 1400 pounds, depending on how we have it equipped. Wow. So you're towed by your Subaru Outbacks, Crosstrex, Jeeps, any sort of vehicle. And it's towed by both cars, usually in the house. You know, you don't need to go out and buy an expensive big truck. I don't know what a F 150 costs these I days. I do. But yeah, you don't want to buy as, one of them. Not as much fun, right? So now you can hook up and you can go, you can be out. And another huge thing with these, and actually not so huge, is you can fit in the garage. Yes. Your standard garage is gonna be about seven foot tall. Some can go up to eight, but we're sitting under seven foot when you take off this tent. So you're parking in there. What does that mean, Matt? You're saving minimum a hundred bucks a month on storage. Minimum. Minimum. Two, you're running this thing out whenever you want, right? Yep. Hook up and go. You can wheel it in. They're incredibly light. So you can get out, get active, stores in a garage, keeps it nice and clean and we're rolling. Yeah, that's the one big advantage about van life that I'm figuring out. It's not about, it, it's literally about having it with you. You could just hook up and go. When it is at a, a storage facility, you literally have to make plans to go camping. You can't just do a spur of the moment trip. Absolutely. So you're gonna chase and, and Matt with that because we're gonna tag team Matt. Yeah. So okay, right? So basically, um, when it fits in the garage, it's also an HOA buster. Right. Like, HOAs don't like, and that's what right. Right. And we keep talking about the Overland, right? But we're also saying we're EV ready. So Talk electric, to me about that. Yeah, and not to steal anybody's thunder, but electric vehicles, okay? Hey, that was a pun, by We've the way. We've been studying them. You've been studying yeah. them, right? Ste wait, you said steal the thunder, because and you're talking about EV. I, I, or that's a double entendre. That is one of your things, too. Yeah, yeah like no. That. So anyway, yeah, I mean, electric vehicles, we've studied it. They are going to need lighter. Yep. They're going to need smaller. Yep. They're going to need less wind drag. Uh -huh. Okay, so all of that is in the little buggy as well as the big buggy when we get over to that. Yeah, and you know Teslas are towing vehicles they have yeah. they have hitches it's crazy I know they're not the, the only ones we saw yeah the model y. y yeah you got the y and then you, the cyber trucks coming you look at the lightning for example okay so there's studies out there they're instantly losing 25 percent, and that's just with 1400 pounds yeah so electric vehicle goes for a couple hours and has to charge for an hour yep so with the smallest stuff they'll have a greater range yeah can okay. we see what's going on behind back here yeah, yeah, yes. yeah absolutely and Matt, we keep talking about overland, and what does that really mean, right? Because we're trying to go overland, we're going to places that maybe a conventional trailer wouldn't be able to go. So when we're defining that, we're looking at a few features, because reverse engineering some of these more expensive products, we wanted to carve out that affordable overland lane without compromising on the things you really need to get out there. Yes. So 
for starters, you have your thick, your off-road tires. Nice. Right? So those are going to take you off the beaten path. It's a smooth, safe tire, even if you're just going on the road, right? Because it's going to be a far more puncture resistant that way. If we're going around, you got a nice stand on fender you can jump on. Oh, so wow. It's almost it's like 300 pounds and there's guys over 300 pounds jumping on it. Nice. Yeah. So you have plenty of weight. So it's almost like a built-in ladder all the way around, right? So if you're configuring your rooftop tent, you're configuring your awning, you got those fenders to step on weighted 300 pounds. And again, Everything here you see is quality, but you can even jump on this too. Dang! So stand on um, steel frame box here. It's an incredible tongue box, which is great because when you're in a smaller unit as well, you lack some storage, right? Because you have to give to get, right? right? So you get you lose a little storage, but we added this beautiful front storage box that has a lot of room in there. It's on a gas strut, your battery, battery disconnect throw your gear in there, shoes, whatnot. We have the auto detect converter in there. If you wanted to have a lithium battery, plug and play in there, it'll pick it right up. I know. Now, does this come with it or is this an option or what's going on here? So this is now the coolest bunk room you've ever seen. Yes. You turn a two person sleeper into a four person by only adding 105 pounds to your unit. Wow. So this is our rooftop tent. It's our Skyden brand. We manufacture it ourselves. Okay, cool. So it's our own. Matt, I was going to add to that. I don't know if there's another teardrop trailer out there that offers this. There's some out there yeah. that aren't teardrops, okay? Right. So, and Chase said this before, at 77 inches tall, this rack is rated at 600 pounds. Nice. Really eight. So if this weighs 100 pounds, you can easily put up to three people up there as well. For sure. And Skyden is a branded uh, name. Uh, Earl comes from the supplier side. Nice. So he's branding that and he's looking at some other items as well nice and what i really like i have seen other people do this but they're at the mercy of the supplier sure. whereas if earl is the supplier yeah he could just make the phone call and say hey guys we need some more tents we we absolutely tent. yeah and, and matt the application with this isn't just for kids right i mean i go out with my buddies all the time and maybe i don't want to lie next to my best friend right here you right know? so maybe they've got their own little penthouse loft up here that they're in and um, I'm down here. For sure. And then coming around the back? So coming around the back, I got some exciting stuff to show you. So we have it configured in a few different ways and really to show you the versatility of the unit back here. So first I wanna point out this. We're using the actual Blackstone griddle. Sheesh. So this is, yeah, I mean. You've heard of that before, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so you're cooking hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day, all night on your Blackstone griddle here. And what's unique about it that you're not gonna see on other teardrops or really other any campers is we've got a lid, nice. a carrying case, but this is the kicker. So our adapter here can hold a one pound LP container, right? So you can get those at pretty much any outdoor store. I mean, your Walmarts, your Targets, you can find that anywhere. Um, so you can hook that up, you can cook, and now you can move this unit around if you're gonna go to a campground, um, you can put it on your picnic table. Yes. You can put it up here where it's designed to go, or you can put it in the cooler tray. So that's really awesome. We've got that there. And then two, you that. can get an adapter that also has... It's not has... that clumsy typically, but yeah, when you move it, you got to watch that for sure. Mm -hmm. But you can have an adapter so you can hook up your 10 pound, your 15 pound LP. So no problem if you wanted to have more, you've got it. But this gives you versatility. It allows you to move it around and you can use it if you're just tailgating or being around your house. I love you it. A Blackstone griddle. And then the cooler comes with it? Yes. So both of these are standard options in our 10RK. So the Chase, let me let me add to this if I may too. Cool, right? Because what we see a lot, and your your people are looking for, uh huh. They're usually getting a burner. Yep. They're not getting a lid, and the reason the lid is on there to keep the bugs away, but also, all right, it cooks faster. Yeah. All right. But when we go here, the cooler's normally here, and this is up here. A lot of them are using what K2s, Otter boxes, or Yetis. Okay. Yeah, right? any, any brands? Yeah, this thing like plugs in right here. The cooler and you can see it's got a real long cord and go ahead there with that camco but so our standard equipment we've got a camco 45 liter 12 volt fridge freezer nice no that's a mouthful but why is that so awesome we just eliminated any need for ice talk to me so if you are out there camping or really anywhere the worst thing for anyone is buying ice going to have to find out and get it yep storing it and then say you pull out your sandwich it's gonna be pretty soggy. Yeah, nobody wants a soggy sandwich. No soggy sandwiches here anymore because if you open it up, you're gonna have space. We've got 35 waters in here. Nice. You're able to get 48 cans. Wow. So you've got tremendous storage in here. And what's so awesome is by the click of a button down here, you see we're plugged in basically using no power. Um, you're able to go to minus four 
and all the way up to 68, but we've got to set it a nice cool 30 degrees, cool these drinks down in about 15 to 20 minutes. So you're out and exploring. What we like about it too is because we've been testing it, Matt. Yep. Like, so with your truck and, and that, so if you're spending the night somewhere, we have not been running power at night. And when we go in the morning, it's like in the low fifties. Wow. So if somebody's out camping, you want to preserve their battery, yep. knowing that's a good thing. Plus Campco comes with that three year warranty on it. And it's also lighter than others. So we looked at a lot of them at these, like we were talking about. Oh yeah. Shows and stuff. Very cool. Should sure. we show them this cool thing? Yeah, we'll show them. I wanted to say one yep, last thing. So again, when we talk about the theme of Overland, you're out there, you're maybe going through some terrain that is, you know, wet, you know, it could be rainy. It could be you're driving through muddy puddles. So we wanted to make sure that the materials we use are of the highest quality. Yes. So all your cabinetry back here is weatherproof. Okay. So it's a composite material. So if there is any water leakage that comes through naturally, you're covered. Yeah. And that's a real solid surface countertop. So everywhere you see in the outdoor kitchen is essentially water weatherproof. Nice. Major thing for us. So, and we've seen campers mm -hmm. like this. Some of them don't offer any water tanks. We've got a 10 gallon water tank, which is enough. I mean, that's 80 pounds, right? I, there's some guys out there, I've seen one or two that have either 20 or 30 gallons. That's just too much weight for a small camper to go off road, right? But outside showers, because obviously there's no bathroom in here, no shower. Right. So I'm going to demo something. There's a, you can hook it up on the outside. Okay. And we may go away with that and just keep this. So the faucet comes off. It's not broke. You put that on and now I'm not going to actually demo it, but yeah, we could shower outside. Very cool. So. so that was really new when we saw it as well. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. So on the 10RK, a lot of our systems are powered by 12 volt, which we wanted to offer an overlanding solution with our solar capability to give you guys something to power yourself off the grid, right? So if Matt, if you don't mind giving me a little bit of room, I'll pull this down and tell me if this blows your mind or not. So we have 110 watt light leaf solar panel that is contoured to fit the design of the nice body, yeah but it doesn't stop there you see these little push buttons on the bottom okay so you unlatch the three you now have a five pound solar panel that you use to follow the sun so when you're camping it makes a lot of sense right you're looking for shade you're looking to stay out of the sun right so now you have a 15 foot tether to move your solar panel around and find the sun you're charging your battery the whole time and powering your 12 volt systems in there. I love that. That is so cool. So that stays in, clips right back easily, clean the cords up. But if you don't mind coming around with me a little bit, I just want to show you a couple things on the inside. And really these are designed for people that are looking to camp out, not camp in. You see, you're not going to be hanging out in the unit all day. Okay. But what we've done, which is different than every other brand that I've seen, is we actually offer an 80 inch bed in here that has three different seating positions. So you have your your seating position here, okay. a lounging position if you move this down, and then you see your true sleeping position. Love it. So if it is raining, if you wanna get out of the sun for a minute, you've got a nice, safe, comfortable spot to hang out on the inside um, with a friend, family, read a book, eat a meal. But inside also, we've added some very nice comfort features. You've got a 5,000 BTU AC, a deluxe max air intake outtake fan, yep. which is a big upgrade. You get cross breeze going. You might not even need the AC running. And if they're looking for something too, we don't see the trifold split sofas much. You, I don't know if you yeah. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you talked about the fan intake outtake, all that. Absolutely. It's, it's extra. So what you can't see is the Astel behind. Yep. So wherever you see fiberglass, you've got the Astel composite on the roof and behind. Mm -hmm. And then he's using a composite floor as well. 
Wow. So we don't have any wood in the uh, floor and the walls. Yep. And the only wood that you're going to see in here, Matt, that's real Baltic birch wood. Okay. So that's not an MDF wrap. That's that's the real deal. You can screw into it. It's got a great look. Sturdy, milled, water resistant. Best wood out there. And I love it does it. it in two colors. So that is our natural stain. Then we have also a white sand stain. Got it. And we have a different interior as well. We do. If right we here. want to pop over to this little guy. Okay. This is the same model, 10RK, but now you're looking at our white sands birch interior. Nice. So we get you a second look at it. Yeah, definitely. And the big buggy does that too, and we'll talk about that. But with the with this little one here, okay, is, we've you know in the RV industry, people like a wood tone and then a white tone. We were talking about that with Aaron as well. Nice. So we're trying to bring a trailer they want versus having them buy what we have. Right. Right. And then that one has a fireplace there. Yeah. Go along. This one, oh, this one's a little bit longer. Okay, so the outside's the same, but the inside's a little longer. So yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna gain a feet here, and then a couple hundred pounds. So our, our target weight here is gonna be around 1650 to 1700 pounds. So still towed by a large majority of vehicles. Right. But now you get a California king bed size in here. Nice. You get a nice TV and a fireplace here. So you get a, a little, ambient lighting in there looks good but it also provides some heat yes. if you need it so this is yeah our new model the 12 lrk um hope to have it at hershey with you guys or at this store uh right near there so this is the new model but the back is going to be the exact same you've got your awning rooftop tent um yeah Matt, and i do want to show us. something over it's not included with it okay but people that look at these small trailers sometimes get concerned and i know this is something close to your heart yes is where you know if they want a toilet nearby right right i didn't see no bathroom in there no so they have these changing rooms so the overlay community i mean they'll set this up you can either hook them up there's some that'll hook up to like the roof rack yeah and come out or there's a separate changing room and your shower head and go in there and you've got privacy either to change or to do yes mats uh, and get a good look oh look at that there's look liquefied in there burr, 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 burr. the best rv toilet treatment go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle and as much as i appreciate this unfortunately it's not porcelain it's not porcelain but it is still a very great alternative and this answers a lot of questions that people have when they are looking at these teardrops and everything very cool now you do have another unit and there is a bathroom in that unit isn't there yes right. aaron would you like to show us that I sure will so what is this called this is the bb12 the big bucket okay so tell us a little bit about what we have going on the outside then we'll go on the inside we got our off-road tires still yes option to add a spare if you would like one okay we got a rear rack diamond plating on the front and the back to protect you know and all your off-road fun okay don't forget some great storage really nice i yeah. see you got the solar panel there as yes. well yep solar also on this one same tether so you can get it out keep your unit in the shade but still be charging everything you need and is this one sheet of fiberglass or is there a roof membrane? No, it's one sheet all the way across. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this is really with the teardrops and not the, what they should be, right? This is below 2,000 pounds. Those are below, that's below 1,500. And that'll be probably right at that range. Okay. So, and you, I, you guys, we mentioned the tires. Overland people, Matt, they also want ground clearance. So we're at 14 inches at our low point. Okay. If we go ahead and add a lift kit to our standard decks or axles, you'll go up to 17 inches. Wow. And then we also have an upgraded um, suspension called Timbering, which is axleless. And we can take a look at that later on over here. Okay. But that also adds another almost four inches. So we can put that on the big or the little. Nice. Can we take a look at the inside? Sure can. And then- okay, our... should follow me for one second. Oh. I got another surprise. Sorry, Aaron. You're good. All right. So in overlanding, a lot of people want an endless water. Yes. And a little stuff to do that. So we are using the Fogati. So one of the things they love is their door. Okay. How easy and how nice that is and how clean it is compared to others. And the reason they point that out so it doesn't blow off going down. There. Right. Right. There is no end with Fogati. They have, I mean, there's a thermostat inside. You can show them. You can set the temperature from like 94 to 123, which you can't do with tank water heaters. Nice. Yes. Instant hot. You got a black and gray tank dump station. Really nice, small, and lightweight. And sorry, Aaron, I just wanted to make sure he saw that. Go ahead, Matt. Don't forget your scissor jacks, too. Yes. Keep everything nice and stable. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this. Upgraded step, heavy Solid duty steps, steps, yes. Steps. Heavy duty grab handles. Very nice, again with the Asdell. Yeah. 
Okay, let me get, get a quick look at this. Thank you. All right, where do you want to start? Oh, how about our kitchen? Show us what we got going on here. Dometic two burner cooktop. Good. We just upgraded the 2024, went to a bigger size fridge. Okay. It was smaller. That was in a lot of reviews we'd seen. Everybody said we need more fridge space, so. Perfect. Here it is. And in that, we were able to add some more storage. Okay. Storage. All oh. the spices. Oh. Very nice. Lots and lots of storage. We definitely wanted to add that. More storage there. How tall are you? 5'9". Okay, and I'm not 5'9", but still plenty of head height. Plenty, plenty of head clearance. Yes, and then what do we got going on here? We got our full U-shaped dinette that folds down to give you roughly a queen size sleep space. Okay. This was a new addition as well. We thought, why not add a little shelf? Somebody can have a place to charge, set your phone. Very smart. All the little knickknacks, built-in speakers. You got several outlets. Everybody still needs a place to plug in potential yes. CPAP customers. Yes. You got that there. Nice storage here. Yeah. Is this all real wood too? Yes. Ooh, if we can get that open real quick. Very nice. This will also be coming in another, uh, the white colorway as well. Okay, perfect. Should be off the line soon. And then this is very unique, if you don't yeah. mind holding this. Yeah. Okay, so in here, um, it is a little bit small, but it is a wet bath. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and what you got is a real toilet, not a cassette toilet like a lot of competitors' trailers would have. Right, so there's an actual, like, black, black tank? tank yeah. Okay, okay. So that's going to be one of the advantages. A gray tank for the shower, a black tank where the other brands are doing cassette toilets. It is a plastic toilet, but unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. <laughs> but again, you know, in this competition, in this segment of RVs, you're not even going to have something like right. that. So that's a nice feature as well. Guys, thank you so much for having me here at your factory today. Um, so America wants to know, what what are these things MSRP in for? The big buggies are 25000 and under. MSRP or that's MS, what they're that's, that's MSRP. Oh wow. We're retailing and we're kind of doing a no haggle pricing for the most part. Okay. But, uh, that way people go in they don't see these crazy discounts right out of the gate. But 25,000 and under add an option or two you're right in that range. Okay. And then what about these ones? These are under 20. Wow. So 19 and a half that's what you're in that 198 Yeah, that so range. fully loaded as you see. Blackstone cooler, rooftop tent, awning, MSRP is right at 197. Wow. So that's fully loaded. Wow. That's where we go about, that's for affordable Overland mains. Okay. EV ready. And you go to this unit here, like when you look at Overland trailers, they start at 50,000 up all day long. All right, there's six figure trailers out there. Um, this gives the people an option to do what they're doing. For sure. And like to get in at that affordable price point, yeah. just to make sure they even like that overlanding style or even the RV style, wanting something small, lightweight, easy to tow, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Guys, thank yeah, you man. so much for having us here today. Uh, guys, make sure you check out their website, which is? ModernBuggyRV.com. Perfect, I will link it down below. And again, we will be selling these at General RV in Florida. Yes. Yes. Pennsylvania. Yes. Virginia. Yes, yes, in Richmond. Wixom? Yes. Utah? Salt Lake? Yes. Matt. Illinois? Yes. Okay, so it's some of the Michigan stores that we might not have it at. Wayland, Birch Run, Mount Clemens, all. Good. Well, it seems like all, if not most. I think that all, at least 12 locations, no one in, in exclusive in Michigan for that matter. Wow. It's just a Florida location. In oh, Michigan. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering. But yeah. still, we no have, what, what, what location in Florida will be carrying them? You're at your, uh, your Tampa one okay. and your Ocala one. Okay, so not Jacksonville, but again, everybody knows Ocala and Tampa. That's the stores I work out of. <laughs> Th those are the better stores anyway. Guys, thank you so much for having us today. Guys, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let us know what you like about the modern bugs and what you don't like about them. And as soon as Will and I get back together and we actually have one of these on the lot, we will do an actual review and we will let you guys know what we like about it and what we don't like about it. Thank you guys so much for having us today. Awesome. Thank you guys.